What's going on guys? A couple of days ago, me and my girlfriend were at the park, right? And then, you know, <laughs> we were playing with the dogs, having fun, having a good time. And all of a sudden, this dude walks up, right? And starts to whistle. And keep in mind, he has his husky. And, and then my dogs see his dog, obviously they're like, oh look, another dog. And they're all excited, they wanted to go play. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna put him on leash. Nope, guns, right? They start to run towards the guy. And then once they're in front of the guy, they just start to play with the dog a little rough. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't be laughing. What's up, Daniel? It was your fault. It was your fault. You got us in trouble. But this guy's a good doggo. Anyways, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, goes down. <laughs> Keep in mind, some dogs do play a little rough than others. This guy is very, very rough sometimes. Just depends. And then, all of a sudden, this guy's like, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to get you deported. I'm like, what did I do? It wasn't even me. It was him. <laughs> like, what? And then, it's like, it's, he's literally my neighbor. He lives like a block away. And now, I got to deal with this guy every time I take my dogs on a walk. Like, come on, man. Oh, it was just dogs being dogs. And this guy wanted to bring it down to deporting me back to Ethiopia. Like, please, dude. I've been trying to buy a ticket for a while. And it's a little pricey right now. Please. Uh, or maybe he doesn't know I'm uh, actually a citizen. It doesn't matter. But the fact that he said that, I'm like, what century do you live in, my guy? It just it had me so confused. But anyways, one thing I gotta say is that, okay, I, right now I'm on the West Coast, right? I mean, I'm on the East Coast. I grew up most of my life on the West Coast. People on the East Coast are way blunt. They'll tell you what's up right in your face. They don't, they don't go around, da, 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 no. They're straight, forward, and they're loud, and they're aggressive. And I'm just starting to notice those things, I guess. But anyways, uh, if you guys don't see me on this channel, it's because I'm gonna be deported. Uh, I don't, maybe not just me, maybe my girlfriend too, because she's Taiwanese. And he looked at us like we're aliens. No, fool, we're from here. We are citizens, my guy. <laughs> but anyways, I just thought I should come over here and share this story with you guys, because it was crazy. Oh, he actually even called the cops on us, right? He called the cops on us and the cop, no. He was actually following us first because that's how he knew uh, to tell the cops where we were living. It was weird. He, oh my gosh, I actually forgot to tell you that part. So, you know, after I grabbed the dogs and we were leaving, he was saying all bunch of weird things, right? And I was like, this guy is crazy. Let's just, let's just get out of here. So we leave. Little did, little did I know he's actually right behind us following us in his car. So he went back home, put his dog in the house, like if it was me, I'd be so worried about my dog if they're actually really, really hurt, you know? I'll make sure I examine him and I'll make sure I take him to, you know, like to the doctor or something, but to a vet <laughs> doctor. <laughs> um, he didn't do any of that. He just got in, went to his house, got in his car and came to find us. And he was like following us around all the way home from the park. The park is like right around the corner, right? It's very nearby, uh, all of like, all the neighbors, the communities actually go over there and play soccer and stuff like that. It's really cool. We are in a very safe neighborhood. So I was just confused as like, why is this guy doing the most? Like actually really trying to like create problems. Like, bro, like, come on, you know, it's like if your kids get in a fight, do you go to the, you know, to their parents and tell them like, hey, I'm going to deport you. It's like, it's weird. Like, I, I don't know. But anyways. Then he started to follow us, came all the way home. Keep in mind, we're just ignoring him. He's saying a bunch of stuff. He got his phone out while driving, recording us. And then he's like, I'm gonna call the police. He calls the police. The cops come to my house. And then we told the cop exactly what happened. And they examined his dog. And it turns out nothing happened. Like his dog is perfectly fine. He didn't get hurt. My dogs didn't get hurt. His dogs didn't get hurt. There was no harm and foul. The dogs were just playing a little rough. I think it's because there was two of them from my side and he only had one dog. So maybe he felt threatened or something, but I don't know. I really don't know. 
if that guy's watching this video, bro, I'm sorry. Like, I, I mean no harm. But you are out of line saying a bunch of weird things, okay? It's it's a whole different time zone. You should not be saying stuff like that. Um, yeah, the cop came. He was really chill. He's like, so what's going on? We told him our side. And then he heard his side. And the cop was like, this is ridiculous. Uh, I believe you, that your dog should be able to, you know, be free and play around. And just make sure you have a leash on them at all times so if there are people next time. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry about that. And the cop was really chill, bro. Really, really chill. I just felt bad he was wasting his time over, you know, this dumb thing. <laughs> Anyways, a lot of crazy stories coming to you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Yimme chachu namasagiralin. Ciao.